Hi guys! Welcome to Medic August. This is Pooja and in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how to survive in Bangladesh being an international student or a foreigner there. So let's dive into the video. So the first thing, what to wear in Bangladesh. Um, uh, of course, if you're studying in college, there must be a uniform or a certain uh, dress code that you have to follow. And for me also, it's the same when I go to college, I wear kurti surwal and for boys, uh, it's uh, mandatory to wear a shirt and pants, formal, okay? And in general, try to wear clothing that uh, covers most part of your body the skin and what uh, and this is irrespective of any gender no matter what your gender is try to wear clothing that covers most part of your body uh, when i am going out i do wear jeans i do wear t-shirts i do wear hoodies but i make sure that uh, you know it's full sleeve and i try to uh, cover most part of my body as far as practicable okay so this is uh the way of uh, respecting the country you are at and yeah number second is how to start a conversation so the person you are talking to is muslim and you know that then it's uh, uh basically how we greet them is by uh, assalamu alaikum and the reply is walikum assalam so that's how uh they greet uh, in bangladesh and that's how i greet when i meet someone in bangladesh and this is the way of greeting our teachers also formally so yeah that's how we greet in bangladesh and uh, it's a really good way to start a conversation if you want to talk to someone you just go ahead and greet them and start a conversation and if the person you know or your friend is um you know a hindu a good way to greet them is namaste which uh, if we are from Nepal, which we know, so it's easy. So that's how one way to st start a conversation. And after that, you know whether that person speak English or not, whether that person speak Hindi or not, whether that person speak, you know, any other languages or not. If you are from Nepal or India, that means you know how to speak Hindi and Nepali. I mean, if you're from Nepal, you can speak both. And if you're from India, you can speak Hindi. So if you can speak any of those language, um, speaking Bangla would be uh, easier because most of the words are similar. For example, uh, we say Dhanyabad when we say thank you. And in Bangladesh, they say Dhanabad. So yeah, almost similar. <laughs> I always give this example to everyone when they ask, you know, is Nepali a little different from Bang uh, Bangla? You know, my friends and everyone, I just give this example. No, it's similar. It's like this. And yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> now, the next thing is where to shop. Now, let me break down to wh where to shop what. Uh, where to shop what. I mean, what to shop where. What to shop where. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so for grocery. So for grocery, a Mono Medical College has its own store, Mono Shop, which is just near our gate. So even if we are attempting to go outside, we just feel like, no, let's just go to Mono Shop. So we go to Mono Shop and buy most of our daily essential groceries from there. And if we don't get our groceries from the Mono Shop, we go to Shobna. Now, what is Shobna? Shopna, if you are from Nepal, is like Big Mart, okay, where you get groceries, um, kitchen utensils, uh, basic skincare, and a little makeup. I think Big Mart doesn't have makeup, but yeah. And a little clothing also in Shopna. So it's a chain, uh, you know, this mini store where you get all the groceries, most of the groceries, <laughs> and yeah, uh, kitchen utensils some selected fruits and vegetables and yeah that's it so you can go to shopna if you don't find things at shopna it's all right there is one more you know backup chal dal now what is chal dal chal dal is a app it also has a website uh i found the uh, app to be more user friendly 
from there you can just order and you will get your order i literally found everything that i look forward in uh, groceries there in Toronto, um except um a particular kind of tuna fish that i eat which is roja one which i didn't found there which i'm definitely going to take from nepal but otherwise i found like almost everything that i buy here in you know nepal like you know you won't see like the ditto thing and not the you know local products of nepal you won't find that but yeah most of the groceries you will find in chaldal so yeah it just solves the problem and yeah that's how i do my grocery shopping now in terms of fruits and vegetables i would like uh, to tell you that go to local vendors uh, to go in order to buy fruits and vegetables because it's fresh obviously because most of the local people also go to them to buy the fruits and vegetables it's also um, you know a little effort on trying to know people there in bangladesh local people like when you are in college you meet your friends and your professors and you know the staffs working in your hospital school college whatever you know and you know you miss that you know interaction with local people and going for you know this shopping like fruits and vegetables is a great way to exchange few words learn bangla tell them about your country learn about their country i just love it <laughs> to you know interact with them and yeah and try to be a little bit more bangladeshi <laughs> and another thing is books so in terms of books um there are a few um online um bookstores that we buy books on uh, most of our friends we just have make a group and then we order books and then we get them why we do this is to reduce our money for the delivery charge we are smart people <laughs> that's how we buy books in bangladesh how we buy means me and my friends now you know you can discover if you want <laughs> it's like i'm just uh, giving you guys information because so that you won't take much time to do research like i did so that you just have one complete video and just you just know where to buy what and later later when you have a few months there you'll definitely find out your way you know that's why i made this video <laughs> now in terms of shoes well uh, in terms of quality uh, this bata and apex which are really good quality shoes like i've bought many pairs from them and it still lasts uh, you know it's still there it still lasts and i still wear them and um yeah <laughs> but uh if i bought few uh, shoes from the local vendors as well and or the local shops and it didn't you know last long for me so yeah <laughs> i don't know uh, there are few in instagram pages where you can find shoes um, online also yeah try that but yeah bata is the best but also having said that there aren't like uh, nice designs the designs are old they just make same of many products so if you want something you know new something that matches your style there are few instagram pages that i'll link down below which you can check out nothing in this video is sponsored by the way <laughs> now in terms of um clothing I don't know about you but what I would say is for garments, uh, fabric and clothing Dhaka is the capital of entire world that that is what I would like to believe so if I give you a website or an app or something like that it will not make sense at all it's like you know go out there just explore the shops explore the boutiques go ahead find your style find the shops where you find your style my style i think is a little bit different so yeah so i won't be giving you guys apps or instagram profiles anything because it just does not make sense because there is so much you can find in bangladesh go to the you know market like new market go to you know boutiques just explore yourself and do a lot of clothing shopping <laughs> it just doesn't make sense okay like tell you guys this uh, store is great go ahead with that one because 
I mean, there's like endless options. So just go and explore yourself. Now, coming back to skincare and makeup. Basic that I need, I take from home and then when I have to refill it or you know, when it's like just in the merge of finishing, uh, what I get in a uh, soap now, I just buy it. And there is one amazing Instagram store where you literally find all the skincare and makeup you can think of. I was like so shocked when I found that store like you can buy anything from Victoria's Secret to Gucci to Dior perfume literally everything was in that store I was like oh my god what is this right so having said that I'll link that store down in the description box having said that they I am not going to take responsibility of the authenticity I don't know like just Find it out yourself if it's authentic or not. If you guys think it's not, also tell me. If you guys think it is, please do let me know. Now, after like where to shop, now we how to travel, how to go from places to places. Um, before coming to Bangladesh, get your Uber installed, get your Patao install, uh, installed. These are the apps you can uh, use to travel to the places. There are also local um, buses if you can travel on the local buses good for you and yeah most of the time what we do is we travel through a rickshaw when we're going to market this that so yeah rickshaw works so these are the few ways you can you know move from places to places in Bangladesh. then um i think sim card okay so what happens in bangladesh which is very fascinating and at the same time i was really surprised is that when you take a sim card from your passport it expires when your visa expires so if, if you're a student where you you know obviously so you have to finish your course there so it might take four to six years and obviously they don't give you visa four years and six years like directly like that you have to renew the visa obviously so maybe for the first time you went to bangladesh the visa was for one year so when you took the sim card it comes with an expiry date and the expiry date is the same as your visa so every time you renew your visa you have to renew your sim card don't be surprised when your you know sim card stop working suddenly it's just like it's expired and you can renew it from the you know there's this gp center or you know whatever the scene you're using that center around your places and you can just go to them and get your sim card renewed it's completely free to renew your sim card yeah i think i have covered most of the things that i think it's um, important for you guys to know or like maybe you're puzzled or you know i don't know uh but of course i have missed so many things because these are the only things that came to my mind while i was thinking of this video if there are things i know there are things just comment down below and let me know what are the things that you still want to know about bangladesh or you haven't been uh, able to discover i'm sure there are things that i also don't know and, and in this way we can exchange information and yeah make our living in bangladesh worth it so yeah uh just comment down below and let me know and then maybe we can do a part two of this video i don't know just like do that i'm just so happy to do this video by the way i'm going back obviously more videos are coming because yeah i think i'll make the video of me going first time to the ot you know i don't know there's going to be a lot of first 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 videos coming so stay tuned bye bye love you mm -hmm.